Welcome back to the channel you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. Today we're going to be doing a LiPo battery review and test. Okay, in the previous video we did the unboxing, check cell voltage, weight, and all that. If you guys want to check it out, I'll have a link in the description. Uh, so we're going to be testing the HCL HP series, the 6500 line of batteries from SMC Racing. This is a 150C discharge 6500 milliamp battery. Okay, we got 3S twins and 4S twins. We're going to test both sets of packs in the v2 i'm running an oxdean marine 200 amp esc stock motor uh qs8 connectors okay uh, smc will actually solder up your choice of connectors when you order from his site right now he's actually got a pretty good sale going on with most of his batteries so go check him out all right so i'm gonna get everything hooked up we're gonna run the, the 3s twins first and then we'll do 8s next I got them in the boat just got a piece of foam on top to keep them in place it's really windy today so i'm going to run them all the way forward in the boat okay it's extremely extremely windy oh man it's blowing Woo. oh wow i got some some get up the Oxdean ESC 6500 150C 3S battery. Wow. Yeah, I enjoy that the the, uh, the SMC line of batteries, whether it's the HCL HPs, the DV Extremes, or the SRDs. If you're looking for extreme performance, the SRDs is where it's at. For just a good all-around battery, HCL HP is what you want, and they're on sale. Oh wow, staying down in this chop too. Yeah, I got my batteries all the way forward. Kind of do a run time here. Full trigger, full trigger. Nice. I really don't want to flip the boat. Because it's really windy today. Oh man. Full trigger. Nice. I got a small prop on because this is the first time I've run this this speed control, you know, with this motor and everything. So I've got a small prop on just to keep temps down for the time being on my first run, you know. We'll see what it does in this chop for speed. Full trigger. That's nice. Not looking for high speed, especially today. Into the wind, into the wind. Yes, sir, buddy. Yes, sir, buddy. Full trigger. I got the low voltage disabled on this speed control, so we'll probably just do one more pass. All right, let's bring it in. We'll check voltage and battery temp. Oh, we need to take temps all the way around. Oh! oh. <laughs> All right, let's check temps and battery voltage real quick. Okay, so the motor is 132, 164 on the back of the motor, speed control 118, 136, the heat sink's 90. All right, my wires are 133. Let's check the battery temp, 115 on the battery temperature. Okay, and uh, let's get us a voltage here. On each one, they were fully charged. 11.1, 377, 376, 377. Okay, check the other one. 377, 376, 377. All right, that's good. Looking good. Okay, so now, now let's throw 8S on. And uh, let's get it. Okay, I got like a little pad right there because these batteries are a little bit wider than 
and the actual battery tray so i put a little pad in there to kind of lift the batteries up a little bit and keep them from moving around uh, it does make the cg a little bit higher you know putting a pad under it but it, it's actually gives you a better mounting point for your batteries you know on this v2 and then i put a pad on top so i know my batteries don't go nowhere it's the last thing you want in a freaking boat boy batteries flying so we're gonna pull these batteries back just a hair because they're heavy i'm not gonna push them all the way forward it's a small prop boat performed pretty good for its first time out all right so i'm gonna get everything ready and uh, I'll, I'll cut back in i've only run this boat at the park pond on 8s it, like a while ago Oh wow, might need to mess around with CG. It is breezy today, guys. All right, let's get it here. Low battery on my remote. That's pretty good. Let me bring it in, change these batteries out. Wow, that's nice okay okay i hear you stop 71 71 miles an hour first time on 8s recently you know this is this this right here is really the reason i put that small 42 millimeter prop on for 8s all right really ain't no point in letting it cool down let's get us a little run and see what she does here I give up i give up you guys i freaking give up man i give up i got a convertible now that's freaking cool right <laughs> the batteries performed good you know i had a good run time on the 6500 3s packs the 4s packs i didn't get to run the whole pack through i just did you know a few passes there oh man this is why i don't run this boat on 8s because uh because of this polycarbonate you know um it's heavy when you crash a boat fast like that it's heavy i should have known better to give it full trigger with those rollers but um i actually got really lucky well not really but i got lucky when i when it flipped when it flipped you know what it, it was laying upside down i was about you know i went to go get my tugboat and uh i gave it some trigger and it flipped over when it flipped over i seen the freaking hatch fall off and you know what i think did it i over tightened these screws right here i over tightened them because it broke right on the screws i guess the impact and all the pressure i had on the screws it just freaking it just took it out the bad thing i lost my freaking gnss performance analyzer the good thing i got the boat back and the boat wasn't even all that wet i mean it, it had some water in it but it wasn't all that wet so i got lucky in that aspect uh so i'm gonna go home and rinse it out it's been raining a lot it's actually low tide so the salinity wasn't that bad today but uh, i'm bummed out about that gnss man one of my subscribers sent it to me and I, and I just don't have the money right now to get another one man or a freaking hatched for that matter oh man i swear i tell you what i give up i give up we'll see you guys next time the batteries are great links in the description for the batteries i had no issues with those uh second hatch so i guess i'll get a black one now <laughs> we'll see you guys next time